Okay, I want you to watch carefully as I show you the magic involved in embedding some content from another source into one of your Weebly pages, specifically your Spark page About Me uh, profile that you're gonna embed on your About Me page. So here I am at my sample site for the course. I have my menu up here that shows all the main general areas that you're going to be developing work for during the semester. I'm going to click on the About Me page and you'll notice that it is blank. So I am going to embed my Adobe Spark page right into this page and there's a little bit of a trick to it so I just want you to pay very close attention. What I'm going to do is I already gave this page a title about me. I'm going to drag the embed code element and drop it right there under my under my title. And when you click on that, you'll notice that it asks you to set the custom HTML or edit the HTML. Well, what is that HTML? I need to go get it from the Adobe Spark page. So I'm going to navigate to spark.adobe.com and I logged in already and I have my projects already here and these are your about me. Um, this should be your about me project that you created. Um, for this class. So I, I, I click on it and here I am in my super fun kind of profile page about me. Here it is. So I want to embed this directly into my um, Weebly page. So all I do is I click on the share button up here. But I don't just want to share a link. I want to actually embed the file right into my website, so I'm going to click on the embed option right here, and you'll notice it displays the script down here. So I'm going to right mouse click on that, and I'm going to copy it. So I copied that script. Now I'm going to go back to my Weebly site, and you'll notice I'm here in my edit HTML option, and I'm going to right mouse click, and I'm going to paste that script right there. I'm going to click away from it for a minute. And you'll notice that initially nothing happens. And that's a little bit of a bug with Weebly, I'm going to be honest with you. So don't worry about it. It's, it's there. Click the Publish button. And when you navigate to your site, you will notice that when I click on the About Me page, that my Spark page is now embedded on my site. Uh, you know what's kind of weird about this too is if you go back to your Weebly site to edit it, so I already published it, I'm going to refresh this page and you'll notice that after you have published it and you refresh it that it shows up on the page um, on the, oops, excuse me, on the About Me page. There it is. Isn't that weird? I don't know. It's just the way Weebly is. A little kooky. But just keep that in mind when you go to publish any changes to any of the scripts that you embed on your page. But now you have it. Now you have your super cool Spark page embedded on your Weebly site. And throughout the semester, you might have other files that you embed on certain pages. And we'll talk about that when we get to it.